I am Tanya. Welcome to Infinity Learn by Shri Chaitanya. And today we will be solving two very interesting assertion and reason questions from the chapter or from the unit biotechnology. All right. As we already know that that unit consists of a huge, huge marks. That unit consists of a very high hate, uh, high weighted topics as well. Right. So that is why today we will be solving two very interesting questions from that unit. And let's see how many of you are able to crack those questions. Let's get started. The first question here we have, we have assertion and reason given over here, correct? If you see the assertion, if any piece of DNA is somehow transferred into an alien organism, most likely this piece of DNA would not be able to multiply itself in the progeny cells in the organism, correct? Now let's look at the reason over here. For the multiplication of any alien piece of DNA in an organism, it needs to be a part of a chromosome which has a specific sequence known as origin of replication, correct? So if we look at the assertion again, that here we are talking about any piece of DNA if we transfer it, all right? If we transfer it into an organism or into an alien organism, which means that that organism was not having this piece of DNA, which means that this piece of DNA will act as a foreign DNA for that particular organism, right? So this piece of DNA would not be able to multiply itself in the progeny cells in the organism, which is absolutely correct, right? Now, let's look at the reason again. So, for the multiplication of any alien piece of DNA in an organism, it needs to be a part of the chromosome, which has a specific sequence known as original replication. And that's what we study in recombinant DNA technology. We need an OD site specifically if we are introducing a foreign DNA into any host, right? So, if we are introducing any foreign DNA into the host, we add it into the vector and one of the major factors which is important or which is necessary for a vector to have is origin of replication. Because until and unless a foreign DNA does not have a specific sequence in the chromosome or the origin of replication, that particular DNA will not be able to multiply itself, correct? So, by this what we understand, by this we understand that here both assertion and reason are absolutely correct and the reason given in the question is the correct explanation of the assertion right so that's how we are done with the first question and now let's talk about the second question of the same pattern so here we have another question we have assertion and reason given assertion says the first restriction endonuclease was hin second this we already know it's absolutely correct now the reason is Hin second always cut DNA molecules at a particular point by recognizing a specific sequence of six base pairs. This is also absolutely true because Hin second is that we know that it is the first endonuclease restriction enzyme, correct? And every restriction enzyme needs a specific sequence when it wants to cut the DNA. And specifically, if we talk about the Hin second, so it actually cuts at a particular point after recognizing the specific sequence and that too of six base pairs. But yes, both assertion and reason are correct. But here reason is not the correct explanation of assertion. Why? Because yes, even if hin second is able to cut the DNA after recognizing a specific sequence and it has six base pairs, but that is not the reason that it was, you know, first recognized. It was recognized first and then we got to know about the characteristics of hin second. So by this, it's pretty clear that the correct answer for this particular given question is going to be option B. That is, both assertion and reason are true, but reason is not the correct explanation of the assertion, right? So I truly hope that you guys enjoyed these two questions. It was just a mock and it was just an example for you that how questions are going to come from high weighted topics and how they can twist a little bit. But if your preparation is awesome, then nothing can stop you. And for that, we also have a free mock test for you, right? So you don't have to do anything. You have to go to the description. There will be a link given over there. You have to open that link and you have to choose NEAT as an option. It will take you to the free mock test link because we know that NEAT examination is right around the corner. So do not forget to give the free mock test so that you can get such interesting questions and then you will be able to analyze your performance so that you can prepare better 
for your upcoming examination. All right. Thank you so much, everyone. Keep learning. And I hope that this video was helpful for you. If you found it helpful, do not forget to like the video, share it among your friends and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon so that you get all the notifications. Thank you.